Hi everyone, it's me, Madam Pamita, and we have another fabulous question from the Live Magic Q&A Tea Party that I hold every Sunday. I'd love to see you there. Come join me live over Zoom and ask your questions about witchcraft, magic, spirituality, and I'll answer them. You can do that simply by going to spellsquad.com, signing up, and you'll get a link to join. And not only that, you'll get a coupon for the Parlor of Wonders. Ha, win-win. So why don't you head over to spellsquad.com, and now we're going to see a clip from one of our live magic q and parties. John C has the question, please let me know which herbs to be used for our, which herbs I can use or which herbs are used for focus on my studies to improve knowledge. Well, one of the herbs that's very well known, there's two actually that come um, to mind for knowledge and wisdom, schools, studies, and things like that. The first one, Solomon seal root. Solomon seal, if you know about Solomon in legend and lore and mythology, Solomon, Solomon was the king, the wise king. He was known for his wisdom. And he was the, you know, the king that had great wisdom to be able to solve problems for his people and so on. So when we think about wisdom, we think about Solomon, the wisdom of Solomon. So Solomon's seal, seal root is used in spells that we want to have wisdom or we want to gain knowledge. That's one herb that I would strongly recommend that you use. Another herb that's used has a name that makes sense that we would use it in our wisdom spells sage sage is a wise person right so we use sage in our spells for wisdom and knowledge and so on so white sage or garden sage it can be any kind of sage mountain sage it doesn't have to be just white sage but getting a sage and you can get that at the grocery store solomon seal root we sell it at the parlor of wonders you can add that to your spells to bring great wisdom and knowledge and open it up. You might add things that you want to open up. Maybe you want to have clarity of mind. So you might add things that are clarifiers like uh, lemongrass or lemon peel, for example, as a clarifier. Car uh, camphor is a clarifier. And you might want to add that if you're feeling foggy or clouded. Those are things that you can add to um, also help you as well. If you're studying on your on a schoolwork, one of the things that I recommend is using high creativity oil. High creativity oil is to open the mind. And this is a great, uh, great oil actually for people who are studying. Use it when you're studying and only when you're studying. And then on the day you take the test, use it again because that link to the scent will remind you of the times that you are studying and bring back all that knowledge for you. This is a scientific thing that they've shown time and time again that smells associated with the time that we're studying will bring us back to that and help us in our recall. So scent is a very, very powerful tool. So as well as the um, herbs that are in it.